greetings of the day i geeta jain science teacher of class 6 welcome you all on rkc online classes here i am with part 1 of chapter 2 components of food points to be remember in this chapter what do different food items contain what do various nutrients do for our body balanced diet deficiency diseases what is food food is something what we eat that's how we know food we have discussed quite a bit about food in previous chapter where you saw what are the various sources of food how do we get food why do we need food so we have discussed about all basic things and based on that we have learned any nutritious substance that people or animals eat or drink or that plants absorb in order to maintain life and growth is called food it is also known as nutrients different organisms have different food habits when we talk about human beings we eat variety of food items some of us eat a lot of fruits and vegetables in raw form or cook them we eat animal products like milk egg fish meat etc we also eat wheat rice bread maize in fact they are the basic food for human beings there is a huge variety of food you can see in the figure given why do we need food this is something which we already answered in the previous chapter we have classified on the basis of their function we have classified the food into three major groups body building foods protective foods and energy giving foods body building foods protein proteins supply the body with materials to make new cells cells means the basic component of our life which build the body and make it grow proteins are needed for growth and repair of our body children need more proteins than adults because of the rapid growth of the body we get proteins when we include milk pulses peas soya beans beans fish meat etc in our diet protective food vitamins and minerals help in protecting our body against diseases we get vitamins and in minerals when we include fresh fruits and vegetables in our diet energy giving foods carbohydrates and fats mainly provide energy to our body we get carbohydrates when we include cereals in our diet while fats we get when we include butter ghee oil in our diet now in detail we will study about all the nutrients carbohydrates carbohydrates mainly provide energy to our body 1 g of carbohydrate gives 4 calorie of energy carbohydrates are made up of carbon hydrogen and oxygen carbon hydrates are of two types simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates simple carbohydrates sugar as it gets directly mixed in the blood and it ins- gives instant energy to our body starch and it takes longer time to break down to release energy test for starch small quantity of a food item put 2 3 drops of dilute iodine solution on it did it if it turns blue black a blue black color indicates that it contains starch now see in the following video a different fat is an another nutrient which gives energy to our body fats provides us twice as much energy as this provided by the same amount of carbohydrates 1 g of carbohydrates provides us with 4 calorie of energy while 1 g of fat provides us with 9 calorie of energy 
it is a great source of energy for our body fats add taste and texture to the food that's the only reason when we prepare any of the dish butter ghee or oil is added to it fat also helps in absorption of certain vitamins like vitamin a d e and k fat helps in brain development that's the only reason your mother asks you to have almonds in your diet we get fats when we include ground nuts nuts coconut oil fish eggs ghee milk butter cream etc in our diet we can say fat contain oil yes there are the two types of fats saturated and unsaturated fats are solid at room temperature where the oils are liquid at room temperature test for fats how do we come to know that whatever the food item is being given to us have oil in it take a small quantity of a food item in your hand wrap it in a piece of paper and crush it straighten the paper and observe it carefully just put it in uh, front of the light if the paper has become translucent means it do not allow light to pass completely that means a blur image you get that means it contains fats in it stay home and stay safe and keep learning